Hello YouTube, welcome back to Panzer Corps with Lieutenant Joker. And today we are attacking the Midwest. We continue our conquest of the United States today on Field Marshal, so let's go. This is a rather difficult scenario, especially if you want to get a decisive victory, which you don't need, but which is nice to have. It's very tough to get everywhere. But we are ready. And we'll do our best. Got everything repaired. Not a whole lot of overstrength, though. Got a lot of damage last time. Important thing here is to get the rivers. Or rather, the bridges across the rivers relatively soon. The central location is vital. Also, very important, get rid of the anti-aircraft guns. That was unfortunate. That can be a one-shot kill if done right. That was fantastic. And that's it. That's how it's done. Getting rid of that artillery is also very important. Now we need to get rid of that bridge engineer. Push it onto the river. And there we go. Protecting our artillery with another one. Setting some fighter traps. Setting up everything else out of vision range. Getting ready for the next turn. And now we hope that we can get a lot of good fighter traps going. Northern force still going on. But this will be easy for start since we won't be discovered here. Completely out of vision range once we have that town. But that's not a big deal. <clears throat> we can set our Artillery up, pretty far forward. But everywhere else we need to be careful. No traps, unfortunately. Most of the uh, US Air Force is still out of range. And these tank forces are really scary, at least parts of them. Canadians are getting involved. Need to take care of those as well. And on goes our quest to destroy the US Air Force. Blitzkrieg needs air superiority. Better yet, air supremacy. Now it's time to get that position.
push the pioneers out or destroy them. Get rid of the artillery. Hope for the best outcome of this. Need to suppress them as much as possible. But this has the best chance of success. And even then he does one damage back. Already setting up for the next phase. Trying to do as many traps and ambushes as I possibly can by retreating my bombers out of sight. One trap that worked. Fortunately, my panther gets to hit. Canadian reinforcements are coming in. Prioritizing the fighters here. Unfortunately, couldn't destroy them all, so... I'm just taking out the necessary parts here. That was disappointing. I'm sure I take out what we damaged. Here, I hope my scout tank can do it. And there we go. Forcing a surrender here, or no, they retreat on the river, I take them out, and the heavy infantry should be able to hold it down. I should be able to do that. And then the infantry can move in. Blocking all the bridges. So we have control over who moves where. And bringing everything into position.
Missed one fighter. That was a misjudgment here. Those infantry ran transports ran right into us. Fortunately, now it's raining. So we can't actually get to the fighters and bombers that escaped. That's actually pretty bad. But at least we got these guys. Not really in the mood to attack much in the rain, but I'll try my best. Slowly moving my position here. And unfortunately, all those three planes that we would see right now will get away. Hopefully to an airfield that will soon take under control. But we don't know. I'm trying to trap this one. Big hit there. I'm a little bit more careful with my tanks compared to the first scenario in the US. Trying to suppress everything despite the fact that the tanks should be able to handle it. Not taking any chances. We need that firepower later in the mission. So we need to make sure we can keep that up. Ah, and we discovered one of the planes. We discovered more planes. They're probably very close to an anti-aircraft gun, so I'm not going to attack those. If it is too close. Here, I'm only bringing forward the Yak Tiger. Everything else... Way too squishy be exposed to those major league tanks. So we really need to get that town to stay out of vision. So that's achieved. Yak Tiger plus infantry in the city that should be able to hold. Out sneaking around and already trying to figure out what else we can take. Move there to potentially push that guy on the river, but that wasn't necessary.
those planes we need to take out. And they are attacking. Ah, and we already flew into range. And the river is ideally exposed. Dark Tiger taking care of business. I'm still hesitant to expose my panther. Two more planes gone. Now we need to get rid of that guy. That worked out. Double protecting my panther there. Hoping that'll do it. Let the tanks down there repair. I don't want to send in my bombers. Those will run into the anti aircraft fire, and that will not be good. Now the anti aircraft gun exposed itself. Now we can start dealing with those guys. Bomber already took a major hit. That's the most dangerous. Tank already gone, <clears throat> and the other stuff now start to bombard. Unfortunately, it's uh, cloudy weather, so that's not super effective. They don't have a lot of heavy tanks, so I need to be careful and take these uh, enemy tank positions on one by one.
Getting some infantry in the position to deal with that problem. Knew exactly that he was going to try to bombard my neighbor after there. That almost took out my scout, but not quite. Once those anti-tank guns are gone, we'll be fine. Now finally that anti-aircraft gun is out of the picture. The Act Tiger needs to retreat, it's out of ammo, but it will return. Already setting up some fighter traps again. That's the end of that tank force. Fired back, now it's out of ammo. Out of ammo and on a river. <clears throat> Not a good position to be in. Plus two and a fighter is actually not bad. Considering that opposition down there, though, I wish I had a couple more heavy tanks.
Up here, the Blitzkrieg can already start. Everything's clear. Others can swarm out and I'm gonna try and send the heavy tank down south. Pershing gone. And here we are also free to advance. Unfortunately, that move wasn't so great. I'm already putting my heavy tank in there so I can rail transport it forward. And that is quite the sight. Carefully sneaking around that position and bringing in the Luftwaffe to deal with it. Cloudy weather again, unfortunately. Otherwise, we could do a lot more damage here. Starting to thin things out as much as we can. While approaching our lighter forces in the background. Bring in the Tiger 2 by rail.
doing as much damage as we possibly can. I'm using the scout to get an eye on things. Using some more heavy stuff into position. And this city has no idea what's coming for it. Now that that threat is pretty much eliminated. We can go in here. Now that that rocket artillery is out of the way. Nothing stands in our way. The Luftwaffe can already concentrate on the next target. The scout goes in for a hit and run. And the Yak Tiger and the Tiger 2 takes out the first target. Yak Tiger is also coming in. And even the forces from the north will soon converge. Drawing the circle around the city closer and closer.
And that's finally the last of the tank forces. Nothing left. The infantry can move in. It's time to take out their last anti-tank forces. And their last defenses. And with that it's completely hopeless for them now. We can't have a decisive victory. I'm going to allow them to buy some stuff. So we can potentially get some surrenders. Every little bit of prestige that we can get out of this will help. Unfortunately, they can't actually buy a whole lot, so I'm deciding, okay, never mind. And that's that. Decisive victory. We actually had another turn, that's why I did that. It wasn't because I couldn't have a decisive one. So we got the entire map. Even ran them out of prestige, they couldn't even buy anything despite me allowing them to. Just a measly light anti-tank gun. So that was Field Marshal and next time we're gonna have to do this on Rommel with a lot less funds. So until then, keep your heads up folks, I'll see you on the next one.